In American barbecue, beef and pork grab all the glory. But I like it when poultry goes up in smoke. The mild meat is like a blank canvas for spice and smoke. I give you duckling with cherries and smoky chipotle cherry sauce. This is a five pound duck. And last night I unwrapped it, put it on a wire rack in the refrigerator to dry out the skin. You can accelerate the drying process with a hairdryer. Set it on the lowest temperature setting and run it over the skin. So why do you dry the duck skin? Well, dry skin becomes more crackling crisp during the cooking process, and that means better duck skin when you serve the duck. Next, you want to make the rub. It's a sweet, salty rub. It starts with granulated sugar and salt and black pepper. And then you have cinnamon for a touch of sweetness and cumin for aromatic spice. Mix these ingredients together with a fork. Take some of the rub and sprinkle it in the cavity and place a cinnamon stick for fragrance and a shallot in the cavity as well. To truss the duck, make sure the neck skin is folded under the body. Then fold the tail piece into the cavity and push the legs to the side of the duck. Take a piece of butcher string about 20 inches long, slide it under the tail of the duck, loop it over, make a double loop, pull tight to pin the drumsticks to the side of the duck. Then pull the string over the legs, under the wings, and turn the duck over. Grab the string and you'll make a double loop. And then you want to just slide the string back as tightly as possible and tie it off and cut off any excess. And the last thing, just pull that neck skin tight. And you want to cut it off. And here's your truss duck. You can see it's a lot more pleasing in shape than a bird that just sort of flops on the cutting board. Next step, prick the skin, but not the meat underneath of it. This helps release some of the excess fat in the skin. Baste the duck with a little extra virgin olive oil. Brush it over the outside of the duck. Then season the outside of the duck with the remaining rub. I love the scent of cinnamon and cumin. It's a flavor combination that's used in cuisines as varied as Mexican and Moroccan. To smoke the duck, I'm using a Memphis wood fire grill. It burns these hardwood pellets. I'm using cherry wood. I'm simply going to load them into the hopper. Set the smoker temperature for 250 degrees. So open the smoker. And the way a pellet smoker works, uh, the pellets drop down. There's an auger that feeds them into a burn chamber. You can actually hear the pellets dropping. We'll place the duck in the smoke chamber. The smoker has a temperature probe. And you want to insert the probe into the deepest part of the thigh. Smoking time for this preliminary stage, about two and a half hours, looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Meanwhile, let me show you how to make that smoky chipotle cherry sauce. Camera's rolling, here we go. So the cherry sauce starts with a sweet sour mixture called a bigarade. You make a caramel, that is a burnt sugar sauce, Start with sugar and water. And you cover the pot to speed up the boiling process and rinse any sugar crystals off the side of the pan. Meanwhile, we're using fresh cherries in this sauce. And this is a cool device. This is called a cherry pitter. And you simply insert the cherry and then just push the pit out. So you can see the sugar is starting to caramelize, burn. Want to take it just a little darker. And once the mixture is well caramelized, add red wine vinegar. The mixture is going to hiss and sputter 
like Mount Vesuvius, and you just want to whisk it to dissolve the sugar. Add port wine, then freshly grated lemon zest, the oil-rich outer rind. Cut the lemon in half, and you can add a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. I squeeze it between my fingers to catch any seeds. Now, whisk in one cup of chicken or duck stock, and add a cinnamon stick to reinforce that cinnamon flavor in the rub, and chopped chipotle chili, and you'll bring this mixture to a boil. And once the sauce boils, add the fresh cherries. Simmer the cherries until soft. That'll take about three minutes for fresh cherries. So to thicken the sauce, we're going to make a slurry that is a mixture of cornstarch and a little kirsch, cherry brandy. Dissolve the cornstarch in the kirsch that will reinforce the flavor of the fresh cherries. To thicken the sauce, simply stir the slurry. If you don't want it too thick, just slightly thickened. And then the last thing you want to do is just add a spoonful of butter. And of course, don't forget salt and pepper. You can see the butter makes it glossy. You get cinnamon, you get chipotle. Mmm. Oh man, this is luscious. Not too sweet. Great smoky caramel undertone from the burnt sugar and the chipotle. Here's the duck after two and a half hours. You can see it's beautifully brown, still looks moist, nice smoke coming out. And what you want to do now is increase the temperature of the smoker to 400 degrees, crisp up that skin. It'll take about another hour of cooking. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Here's the duck after the final high heat roasting. I'll just pull out this probe. And our cherry chipotle sauce. So we make a cut along the breastbone. Oh, the knife just glides through the duck as though through butter. And then I'll cut a few slices. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. That is a chemical reaction that occurs when the smoke comes in contact with the meat. Wow. This looks great. Now we'll add a little sauce. And I'll cut a slice. Mm. Oh, man. This is so good. That duck is so tender and succulent. Nice smoke flavor, little heat from the chipotles, just like what I used to eat in Paris, only with a project smoke twist. That's a cut, very nice, Stephen. <laughs>